Welcome to Debaco University's video presentation of pollen's role in forensic science. So while we may not consider pollen to be a vital role in forensic science, those that are very detail-oriented uh, and can discover this, it may play a very important aspect of the evidence collection for pinpointing a crime scene. So pollen's main role, and pollen is simply that small, little, tiny, uh, almost dust-like appearance uh, that flowers uh, will produce for the goal of pollination to produce seeds. So pollen is used to help provide those links. This can take on different forms, but the goal is to aid in allowing uh, to strengthen a case with increased evidence linking. So while it may not be the only thing used, it can help strengthen a case and really provide an investigator uh, some solid evidence and information. We want to make note that the same concepts can be also applied to spores that are applied here as shown for pollen. Now, what is pollen? Well, pollen is simply the male reproductive cell of flowering plants, those angiosperms, and cone-bearing uh, plants, those gymnosperms. Found nearly everywhere, which makes it great to uh, consider for crime scenes. And pollen has many unique shapes and sizes when viewed with the aid of a microscope. And we may see it here as this all this kind of little tiny yellow particulate here, uh, but under a microscope it can look vastly different. Within the same genus, there are often similarities, but between different plant species, there's definitely some noticeable differences. As this pollen can be kind of like nature's snapshot, which what does that mean? Well, pollen can help identify the area or the region that a particular uh, crime may have occurred. It can produce a pollen fingerprint, meaning what plants exist in what area. If we find that pollen, we know that um, on that individual, that garment or that clothing will have to be present in a certain region can also help us pinpoint potentially the time of year, meaning what pollen is found, uh, what flowers bloom during certain times. So there might be a limited window for certain plants, and that might really help determine the time of year uh, that that garment was found or that, that clothing was present at that crime scene. Now, pollen can be used to determine if the body was in a particular place at a specific time frame. It can also identify the season the crime was committed. And if a body is discovered and contains non-native pollen, it was likely moved prior to its present location. So all of these can be vital um, information that can be gathered to, again, help strengthen a case when we're looking at developing uh, what may have occurred at a particular crime scene. Now, as I mentioned, pollen can have very different looks. Well, what do you look for? You want to visually inspect with a microscope. You want to look at the pollen shape. You want to look at the size, the surface texture, and not knowing anything um, about pollen in general. If you look at the images located down over here, we can definitely see there are some distinctive visual differences. A good investigator would compare specimens from the crime scene with that on the suspect and or victim to determine if there's a similar pollen signature or the likelihood of there being a match between those two.